Yeah, I'm in the hospital. I told the goddamn cop that I'm feeling well. I need an ambulance. He wouldn't call me one. He wouldn't call me an ambulance. He wouldn't call me a supervisor. I asked him to call me a supervisor. He had about 300 people ahead of me just to punish me. But they told me he had no jurisdiction over the line of Mexico. And even the Mexican cops told me that was right. Because that blue line is for disabled individuals and they go first. Now according to CBP, they run the rules. And I told them, you are incorrect. That is Mexico. That line is Mexico. You people love putting the blame on Mexico. Well now, I'm putting the blame on you. You're denying me access to the United States. You're denying me my civil rights. You're uh, putting me in jeopardy. I showed the cops my medicine I was taking. Didn't care. <clears throat> so uh, they called the uh, ambulance. I left the border about four o'clock, and I made it to uh, about five or so when they called the, uh, the ambulance for me. They brought me here. So here's my room. It's not really a room yet. This is like a triage where they see, how, see what you need and stuff. And they're going to keep me here overnight because I wasn't I'm not feeling good at all. What are the little fascist punks think you are somebody? And they really get mad when you tell them you, can't, you don't run shit. And I told them, your jurisdiction is that yellow line up to 125 miles north. You don't have one inch of jurisdiction south of that yellow line. That's the uh, Republic of the United States of Mexico. And they are owned by own their own laws. And they have laws, um, human rights laws. They have laws for protecting citizens, regardless if they're Mexican or not, for abuse. But the cops didn't hurt. So in a lot of ways, Mexico really is up their game. And when they called the two cops over to me, the cops deceived me around quite a bit. And when I explained to the police officers what the problem was, the uh, security guard, CBP, was very unhappy because he thought they would arrest me. My Spanish is pretty much on top of its game for a white boy. And I know the laws because that's what I do. When I'm in the internet, I'll, 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 read, I'll, I'll read stuff about, about the laws of Mexico. And the cop said, you're right. You're right. And the cop told the guy, let me go. So, but I was there for about an hour. I'm in the sun, standing, no place to sit. Mm -hmm. So they gave me some morphine. They felt cold in my hand. And it's kind of relaxed me a little bit, I guess. I don't know. And, uh, Need a sandwich, you know, like a, like a, I don't know, half a sandwich. But I had two uh, hot pockets with me when I came here, and it just, I didn't warm them up, but it's it okay with cold. I usually don't wear glasses, but uh, I am now, so. Here we go, here's my, my IV. So that's the IV pump over there. What else we got? Uh, let's see here. Oh, this is kind of cool. Got TV. There are other uh, strips. I mean, uh, sharps. Strips, strips Mercy. Yeah, strip. We're on street. They don't have that. So that means I would be in that lousy, that's really not a good hospital. Just mercy, not a very good hospital. 
and uh, they don't have a TV set. You'd be there for hours if you got a room, and you'd be going nuts. So, the doctors treat me real well. They're concerned about me. The nurses here have been pretty good, because if they weren't, I'd tell you. So, but my leg hurts like a son bitch. That does for sure. Oh God. Here, let's see. Since we're here, let's see. Look at this. Yeah. Accessibility. Here, it doesn't matter. I said, I'll trip my leg. I'm not making I'm not making this up. I'm not hurting. I'm in pain. Yeah. Well, I'm in pain, alright. Okay, right, well, I'm gonna go back to watch TV and see if I can get them talking about another sandwich. So, thank you very much. Take care. Oh. <laughs> it really got bad. Because I called, I was saying F you to the cops. And everybody would look at me like I was crazy. Well, they can't do shit. You know, I'm in Mexico. But, uh, so understand, you don't have to be a Mexican for them to like shit. I'm about as white as you can get. And they treat me like shit. So, they, so they're, they're not prejudiced. They just hate everybody. Believe it. Even the last uh, officer that I met when I crossed the border and tried to explain about my, my discomfort, the problems, the pain that I had, and he just pissed me, he just weighed me off. Didn't care. Didn't want to hear a goddamn thing I had to see of, uh, about his, his officers. What do you expect? So, if I was a Mexican, I could say, Racism. So what can I say now? White on white hate crime? That doesn't make any sense. No, they're just fucking assholes. Bye. Pause recording button. Pause recording. Yep. Pause recording. Nope. Nope. Pause recording. Pause recording. I don't know if you got this thing up. 25 bucks. I pay for a goddamn phone.